Oh my God, my storage is full again. This is so annoying. Just kidding. That's never a problem for me because I know how to properly manage my storage. But do you know? Let's get into it. So I always find when people have max storage in Pokemon Go, it's because they don't know how to do two main things. Number one, they don't know what meta relevant Pokemon are and what the best Pokemon are to keep, which we're gonna be answering in this video on how to easily do that. And number two, they don't have a quick efficient system to swift through all the non meta relevant Pokemon. So today I've set up a pretty much automatic system for you to just type in things and automatically get the Pokemon you should be keeping in Pokemon Go. This will be the easiest and fastest way for you to complete storage in Pokemon Go. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So first, let's talk about how to find what meta relevant Pokemon you should be keeping in your storage. Me and my team have crafted a bunch of search threads that you can instantly type into Pokemon Go that will show you the best raid attackers for all 18 types in Pokemon Go. For example, I already have some of here favorited in which I can click grass and it'll show me all the potentially best grass type raid attackers in Pokemon Go. And it even filters out only shadow Pokemon. So for example, shadow Venusaur is a very strong grass type raid attacker, but it's not gonna show me regular Venusaurs, which are not as strong. Let's take a look at some examples examples for this. For example, the search thread on screen right now is the electric meta relevant search thread we've created. I have it here auto saved in which this search thread will show you Zerka trees, Shadow Raikous, Shadow Electivires, Shadow Zapdoses, Shadow Magnezones, Zekroms, Therian Thunderuses, Shadow Luxurays, Electivires, Raikous, Magnezones, Zapdoses, Iron Thorns, and Maridons in your search thread. Yes, you heard that right. These search threads are actually created for being future proof in which new meta relevant Pokemon that come to the game will automatically be shown up here when they come to the game. This is amazing because now if you put this search right in, you can go through your storage and find out what meta relevant attackers do you actually have here that you could potentially power up as an electric type rate attacker. Now you might've noticed here, I have a bunch of them favorited. Now, unfortunately you can only favorite up to 12 search threads. I just figured that out. So you can't really save all 18 of the different types of search threads. But if you do want to favorite any of these search threads we have created for you guys, I'm going to have a Google docs link below with every single search thread we talk about in this video, in which you can go ahead and copy paste that and then go ahead and paste paste it into your search bar. For example, I've just pasted the search thread for the electric type rate attacker. You can then back out, come back into search. And then in your recent search, your last recent search, you can long hold on it and it will throw it down here into your favorites. You can then long hold on any of these search threads, rename them. For example, this one, I'm going to name electric because it's electric type rate attackers. So the first thing I recommend for this auto system is for you to go once through all 18 types, if you haven't already, and favorite all of the best electric type rate attackers that you could potentially keep. Now, this does take some knowledge to know which ones are better than others. For example, I'm going through electric type ray attackers here. Zerker tree is well known as one of the best electric type ray attackers. Meanwhile, regular electivire is strong, but not as strong as Zerker tree. So if you do want to check out my best Pokemon to power up video, which is going to be linked up here, it breaks down the A tier, the B tier, and the C tier of all types of ray attackers, which could help you give some knowledge on which ones to keep. But these are amazing search threads to quickly sift through that will show you all the best types. Again, we have them for every single type. For example, ground here going to show me all the best ground type ray attackers I have in my storage. The second thing you're going to have to go ahead and find out is going to be the best PVP Pokemon. And you know, we got you covered. Just like for raids, I've created search threads that will instantly search out the best Great League, Ultra League, and Master League Pokemon in your storage. For example, here, our Great League search thread here will pop up all the potential Great League Pokemon that you could be using for the Great League. Now, the one thing about the search thread, I couldn't figure out how to make sure that it doesn't show me Pokemon above 1500 CP. So you might have to sift through a couple Pokemon that might have a high CP cap. For example, this Registeel clearly can't use it in the Great League, but nonetheless, the Pokemon here are gonna be the top meta relevant ones. A very important disclaimer though is the meta in Pokemon Go PvP changes every single three months and I can't really keep this search thread updated as much as the other ones because we never know what Pokemon will become meta and which ones won't so do be wary with this this thing could be a little bit outdated when you're looking at it but overall it should show you some of the best PvP Pokemon because I don't really see any of these Pokemon going anywhere soon unless they get a huge nerf of course we also have a search thread here for the best PvP Pokemon for the Ultra League and as well for the Master League so again link below check out the doc with all the search threads but you can instantly throw these into Pokemon go find out all the best Pokemon for the match league that you could be potentially using and then save them into your own Pokemon go search thread. Finally, the last thing we have to talk about is going to be mega Pokemon. There is a lot of mega Pokemon in Pokemon go and coming to Pokemon go. And I've created a search thread for not only the megas and primals currently in go. So for example, if I use the megas and primal search thread, it will show me all the Pokemon that have a mega that I own in Pokemon go or might have a mega in the future. For example, Audino does have a mega that is in the Pokemon universe, but it's not in Pokemon go yet. And 
then it'll also show me Pokemon that currently have Megas and also includes the Primals. The thing about this search thread though, is it just shows you the Pokemon that could potentially be Megas or have Mega Forms. However, it doesn't include the best. So we've also created a search thread here showing you the best Megas and Primal Pokemon for the different types. So it'll only really show you the meta relevant Primals and Megas for each type. Now note this search thread doesn't filter out Shadows, which of course you cannot Mega Evolve Shadow Pokemon. So you do have to be wary of that, but overall it'll show you all the Pokemon that could potentially be Megas. So yeah, with all those search threads, you should be able to quickly identify what meta relevant Pokemon are in your storage, which ones should you be going ahead and keeping, and which ones should you not be. But that comes to the point of how do we actually clear our storage? What's the next step? And here comes the auto search thread. This auto search thread will show you all the Pokemon you could potentially transfer in Pokemon Go. But we have two versions of it. Let me go through it. The first version here I call is the quick delete. It's going to show you all the Pokemon you caught in the last seven days, probably don't have much use that you could potentially transfer. The search thread, of course, will be in that dock, but it'll show you all the Pokemon in the last seven days that are not shinies, shadows, purified, legendaries, all those things that you could potentially transfer. Now, of course, this is going to require some knowledge because you're going to have to pair that with the other knowledge we gained on what Pokemon are going to be meta relevant. For example, this Charmander here, if it had good IVs, it could be a potential candidate for a Mega. So I would have marked it to keep it when I was going through all the meta relevant Pokemon for the types. But now I can quickly go through all these Pokemon. This is really good for a quick transfer if you need a little bit of extra space because it'll show you all the Pokemon you could potentially transfer that you caught recently that most likely you don't mind transferring. For example, we're just going to transfer a couple of these. But however, we then have a deeper diving search thread that will do more of a cleanup, let's say. I made a short about this search thread, but this search thread will filter out all the potentially decent PvP IV Pokemon, Legendaries, Mythicals, Ultra Beasts, Shinies, Shadows, Luckies, Pokemon with Legacy moves, Costume Pokemon, Pokemon caught from raids, and Pokemon caught in 2016 that can be used for Lucky Traits. This is an amazing search thread because it allows you to take a quick deep dive into your storage and shows you all the Pokemon that you could potentially be transferring in the game. Now, the downside about this search thread is it's not always going to filter out all the best PvP Pokemon. For example, this is actually a really good, already pre-built Kingdra for the Ultra League and obviously didn't search it. So I don't recommend just coming in here and going select all transfer, but it's a good starting point to take a deep dive into Pokemon that could potentially be eating up storage. Finally, I do want to do a quick mention to another search thread, which will be linked below, which will show you all your 100% IVs and zero IV Pokemon. I think it's a pretty fun search thread showing you all the best Pokemon you have, but also all the worst. For example, Nundo Purloin, which I actually didn't even mark. So just recently caught that while also Hondo Drillbur right beside it. I think it's a pretty fun search thread. So the question comes, Dex, how is this an auto? system like what are the steps to quickly clear my search thread with this first thing you want to do is you want to go through all the different 18 types of pp pokemon using those quick search threads and then go through all those and mark all the potential raid attackers you want to keep then once you've marked those you can go through all the great league ultra league and master league pokemon give those a marking that you want to keep and then also all the mega pokemon that you could potentially want to keep then you can go ahead and use that seven day search thread or the deep dive search thread and deep dive into pokemon that could potentially be transferred from your storage. So pretty much any of the Pokemon that you didn't mark in the first stages, you're going to be transferring. Then finally, obviously this is not a perfect thread. So sometimes you can go ahead and then just take a scroll through your storage and any extra Pokemon that you see in there that you're like, so while well, this thing's not useful and it got by my search threads, I'm just going to transfer it. Overall, I hope these search threads help you guys in Pokemon Go. Even if it's just not for transferring, it could still be useful when you're trying to build a raid party for a certain raid boss. But implementing search threads into your storage management is the number one thing to pretty much automate your storage management system. You have any other search threads you want to share? Let me know in the comment section below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to hit the like button as well because building all these search threads did take us a decent amount of time. And I hope they're as useful as you guys as I think they will be. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much the video. Let me know what you think of it. We're going to see you all in the next one. Follow for this, everybody. Peace.